Hi, in this video we'll take a look at the shape nodes. Shape nodes are part of the pattern generator node family, and elements of these nodes can be found in other nodes as well, though it's very useful to familiarize yourself with these nodes. The shape nodes can be created both in the layer stack as well as in the node graph, and they come as a 2D version and a 3D version. So we have the shape 2D and the shape to planner. Let's look at the shape 2D, create the node and view it. The shape nodes allow you to switch between multiple standard shapes. So for example, by default, we get this simple square. We could also choose, for example, a frame, a Gaussian shape, a cross, or many, many different other variations. You can adjust the tiling quite simply under the tiling, and each pattern has its own pattern-specific area. So for example, the square, these pattern-specific elements do not have any effect. However, if I were to go to frame, as you can see, I can change with pattern specific one, one part of the pattern, and with pattern specific two, another part. Using the pattern crop, you can crop the pattern to your liking. For example, if I use a square and I choose a rotation of 45 degrees, I adjust the scale down a little bit, and then use the pattern crop, I can easily make this a triangle. The rotation of the pattern crop is independent of the rotation of the actual shape. So you can see you can rotate this freely around the center of the shape. If I play with the rotation of the shape, the crop stays exactly in the same position. So you'll have to manually readjust in this case to keep the original shape. The shape scale is ranged 0 to 1 by default. However, in this case, we have a bell shape, and even at scale 1, the shape does not completely fill out the available space. In this case, I can place my cursor into the scale field, and using the arrow up and down keys, I can further increase the size of this shape. The scale X and Y allows you to non uniformly scale the shape. In this case, going above 1, has no effect. However, we can use the scale and scale x and scale y in comparison or in unison together to have a different effect. So here I use the scale itself to go over 1 and I only use the scale x for a global non-uniform scaling effect. Under the transform section you will find the usual transform options that are available for other 2D nodes as well. So we can control the repeat, a global rotation for the entire image. You can set the pivot of the rotation. So if I set this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, you'll find the rotation happens around the center of the image. And also you can offset the result.